students we're going to start with the revision of the poem a tiger in the zoo okay right see simple things that i have asked you to remember which i might not ask please uh, learn the names of the poets okay right and uh, if uh, write the, the names of the authors also so simple things that you can do okay right so a tiger in the zoo poem here what is it about yes if we had to find a theme for it right tiger in the zoo poem what is it about it is the tiger in captivity yes or uh, this has been described does it talk about the value of freedom yes does it show that man is uh, superior does this poem reflect this in any way how does it reflect it how does it show yes 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 for their own entertainment they have kept the animals in captivity right yes so if i talk about you know like uh, yes uh, the bravery and uh, the courage of the tiger yes so this poem it touches all these things right it talks about captivity what are the feelings of the tiger when it is in captivity what about the cage in uh, which it is kept is it a very large cage is it enough for the tiger to move around freely is the tiger happy there no the tiger is not happy and a quiet rage that word is there which is a, an oxymoron yes so quiet also angry also and what has he done is he showing his anger is he roaring is he there being so violent no he is uh, controlled his anger he is uh, controlling his anger and not uh, showing uh, you know like uh, that but uh, yes we know that he is walking very quietly and he is not happy there looking at uh, the visitors and is he actually aware of the people coming and looking at him or is ignoring them he is ignoring the visitors who come and uh, stand there outside the cage to admire the beauty the you know grace the strength of this very majestic animal okay right so it is about captivity any animal in captivity is not going to be happy right yes so if uh, a, the tiger had to put up his thoughts you know like if uh, someone had to speak for the tiger and had to put uh, a message outside his cage you know maybe talking about the thoughts of the tiger what would that person write if there had to be a certain message there a sign board outside the tiger is saying something take me out i want to be free right so being captive is not a good thing isn't it these are the thoughts of the tiger yes does man understand this no he does not understand that is why he has kept the tiger in captivity and as you said yes for his entertainment and uh, so that people can come and see the animals in their uh, captive state right value of freedom when do we realize the value of freedom have we ever been a captive there are instances yes when people are there their freedom has been taken away and we want our freedom and so many lives have been lost the struggle has gone on endlessly right till the goal was achieved right so we do realize the value of freedom if we realize the value of freedom why don't we let the animals be free why not we think we're doing good for them we're taking good care of them that is why they should be kept over here is it so we're making sure that they get their food they get care and uh, that is why they should be kept in captivity so if we understand the value of freedom why are we taking away the freedom of these mute animals when do you think yes so we need to take care of uh, certain uh, species they need to be kept uh, cap captive they need to be under our observation when yes when they are violent then they should be kept captive okay what else what else anybody else 
when they are harming or when they become very violent or yes so they're killing the humans as well as other animals then we should right like when you have man eater tigers uh, right or you have uh, other you know wild cats outside and they are harming uh, or an elephant has uh, gone astray and is attacking everyone then yes the authorities they take care of the situation what about when a species is endangered then yes they are so we are there taking care of them make sure that the species does not become extinct right so there are certain cases when yes we have to keep them in captivity but taking away the freedom is not justified at all right so we have there yes so look at uh, uh, you know like many years ago regarding the tiger right the bengal tiger how much concern was there in fact uh, the number was in thousands right so when that concern and you know that issue became a big matter of concern that we have to see that this animal does not become extinct so so many measures were taken right so proper tracking was done and uh, yes uh, the movements the areas where they were it was made sure that uh, no more tigers are lost so till they come to a comfortable number right why do you think species uh, they become endangered right man is responsible in a way yes so uh, we have uh, poaching what is poaching cannibal animals right so which animals are they hunted for uh, the you can uh, say the benefits there so tiger is there for the tiger skin there people would love to display their stuffed uh, animal skins we have seen the tiger claw is there and it is said to have a medicinal value also right yes so the elephant the ivory tusks it is they very valuable other skins animal skins whether the snake skins or crocodile skin or the fur of the animals so you have your coats and jackets right so yes oh yes for the colorful beak yes the toucan is there so we have uh, there and many animals and birds are kept there because they're so beautiful and this is not the right thing to do isn't it right can you name a few organizations that are involved in taking care of animals any uh, you can say groups that are there yes have you heard of peta p e t a please uh, get uh, you know like aware about it it is peta there and there are other agencies also so you have people for ethical treatment of animals right so it is like we read about people taking care of it is not yeah you have to take care of the wild tiger or the you know the rhino or other you can say very uh, like uh, these uh, kind of species we have people that taking care of stray dogs also yes right so like here yeah, for some people it might be a menace they look at them they keep on barking in the street the whole day they keep on chasing people but for some people yes it is a mission they take care of them right so animals there they have to be yeah if we want them to be safe we need to change our habits also what about here you know like what about the whales and other aquatic species what about them so we talk about some species of whales also in the danger of extinction right so we are not going there everyone is not hunting and who is doing that how are they becoming endangered yes 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 so we have the effluents which are discharged yes because of that also the fish they like the oxygen content decreasing we have also you know overfishing also right so people are there who are fishing too much so the, the ways are there are other variety of fish and we don't give them that time we need they need that time there when they have to at least uh, you know like propagate again and grow again the numbers need to increase right but man does not allow that now here in this poem let's come back to that these things are very very important that is why i am discussing them right because when i talk about your question it is not necessarily it has to be your uh, context based it is beyond that also right so it could be imaginary like of course if you had to put a caption Oh yes, the whale. The whale's fat. Absolutely true. Rather, whale is there for the blubber. You know, the fat that is there, right? 
in creams and all it is used and yes so uh, perfumes and uh, things so once again the bones are also used everything is there and uh, we see how uh, people are they relentlessly killing the, them so yes so fishing is the uh, fishing is uh, different but when you are uh, you know like yes uh, purposely we want that particular uh, species because it fulfills your commercial needs or other needs then then things get very very serious and uh, we need to take care about that now here yeah we are they're talking about the bravery and the courage of the tiger where do we learn about the bravery and courage of the tiger we have the tiger in captivity the tiger is angry and uh, yes uh, not happy right and the tiger looks at the stars and longs for freedom yes and uh, of course ironically here he hears the sound of the patrolling cars and the patrolling cars they see that everyone is safe right there is no problem here now when you talk about the tiger when it is in the wild when the tiger is in its natural habitat how does the tiger behave then how does the tiger behave in its not it's happy of course it is happy and what about here how do the tables turn how do the tables turn how do things change who's scared now when the tiger is out in the open do we say okay wait i bring a cage for the tiger please come here i'll take you home do we do that we run for our lives isn't it right so yes so who is more powerful in the natural habitat is it man or tiger it's tiger and the tiger there we hear it roaring there at the edge of the forest and where the villages began the tiger is very territorial yes and most animals are very territorial that they are there you know they have their confined or marked out spaces which they you know uh, dominate right so here the tiger roaring creating fear of course among the other animals but also among humans right here in the cage the tiger walks very you know like in a quiet rage but in the open is the tiger afraid of anything no who's afraid of the tiger man is afraid the animals there the deers right uh, it hunts they are afraid and how does the tiger stalk them he goes lurking right yes and why is it important that the tiger goes lurking why does it can't go jump and pounce directly waiting for the yes that moment when yes the deer is not aware or any other animal it is not aware that the tiger is present and then of course and yes so lurking there it is they hiding in the tall grasses it is making sure that it is not See, okay right so man is afraid animals are afraid but the tiger is there we of course in its natural habitat in its full glory in its full courage in its full spirit okay right is this clear yes and then of course here it is man stays inside his home at night does not venture into the forest because who's there tiger is there but what is happening in the zoo tiger is in the cage a man is checking okay are all the animals safe he's patrolling right so it is yeah and the tiger there looking at the stars why does he there this is very very important line he just gazes at the stars there right why does he look at the stars what does he long for freedom and where does he want to see the stars from from the confinement of his cage or from uh, the you know from under the expanse of the wilderness yes yeah, so he wants to be out in the open he wants to be there and that is from where he wants to see the stars from okay now we have realized what this poem it reflects about the nature of man man is very dominating man is very selfish man thinks that he is always right he never thinks twice about taking away the freedom of, of others but do we want to give up our freedom do we want to give up our freedom we had to give up our freedom completely well last year when uh, there was a complete lockdown how did we feel we were tigers stalking in our cages and we were just uh, wanting to get out isn't it right and when he came out again wow he brought something else with us 
another way isn't it right so how careless we are so we are like that yes we do not realize that we are taking away something so important we love to keep these beautiful birds in the cages but is a bird meant to be kept in the cage no we want to keep these birds because look at them they're so cute look at the colors and look at the feathers but we are taking away their freedom isn't it right so and of course yes yeah, so one thing i always uh, you know it comes to my mind when we keep pets also especially pet dogs you know and people think okay they bought this very ferocious breed of a dog and uh, it's supposed to scare others but that poor thing is always uh, in a chain right i think so that is something very very inhuman if you have a pet treat it like uh, you know yes uh, an equal member give it freedom and and of course it's not to be confined you know you you've kept one floor for the dog only and the dog has to keep on walking there only what no we don't like it we don't like when our freedom is taken away so let us not to be so cruel okay i'm sharing the screen right now all of you let us look at the questions let's see yes uh, start uh, giving the answers and those who are in offline i'll ask you the questions and uh, yes let's see what does the tiger look at uh, in the night the car okay very good i didn't have to give the options how do the eyes of the tiger look are they sad they're brilliant they're dark or they're light brilliant eyes eyes the brilliant eyes are the brilliant stars okay yes and how does the cage tiger react to the visitors does he ignore them does he will give a happy face is he sad face or is he very proud he ignores them right and, and of course he's become so used to them coming and looking at the tiger and uh, yeah so we are not who what passes near the water hole the fat pig the fat buffalo the fat deer or all of the above all of the above but if it is specifically given in extract is given what is there in the extract deer right but otherwise all these animals they come to the water hole right now where should the tiger hide himself behind the tree in the shadow in the house in the jungle in the shadows right so lurking in the shadows in the tall grasses there and just waiting for that approach so what describes the tiger in a jungle he is locked in a concrete cell his strength is behind bars he is ignoring visitors or he is baring his white fangs baring his white fangs what are fangs what are fangs white fangs kahan hai tail pe where are the white fangs where are the white fangs bas math science padho english mat padhna fangs are teeth right what about the teeth write it down somewhere and please make sure you never ever forget it and uh, don't just uh, skim through it i want you to know the word meanings i want you to know the literary devices i want you to know the rhyme scheme okay little little things you have to know fangs are teeth and of course the huge we are the canines of the you know canines but you don't know fangs very strange right okay fine so we we can write paragraphs but we don't know our alphabets isn't it yes so fangs are the teeth okay so and uh, yes so where does he scare uh, the people by showing his fangs in the wild right in the jungle in the open now by ignoring visitors what is the poet trying to say that the tiger knows his power is restricted there is no use of showing rage he is less terrorizing because of the cage or all of the above right but here is he is ignoring visitors because he has become used to them he is accustomed to their presence and uh, of course it is something that happens every day and he does not want to show his rage and everything here what is the poetic device here bearing his white fangs 
his clause. Is it a metaphor? Is it an assonance? Is it an oxymoron? Is it a consonance? It is assonance, isn't it? Yes. Bearing his why repetition of vowel sounds. A, I, I, A, I, A. Write down somewhere, please. He stalks in his vivid stripes. He stalks in his vivid stripes. Some of you might say alliteration also. Ma'am, there's a repetition of H, H. There's a repetition of S, S. They had to be in close proximity, okay? Right? So here, once again, it is as it is. Yes. What has been personified in the poem? The tiger, the forest, the zoo. Tiger has been personified. Absolutely correct. Okay, fine. So this uh, was, uh, I would say, a few questions that we had. And uh, yes, so please go through all the literary devices. What is oxymoron? What is oxymoron? Please uh, just uh, go through it. You know, whenever I do my revision, I have come back to the basics. I just assume you people have forgotten everything, okay? Which is very, very true. So oxymoron is? Yes. It is quiet rage. They are together. Remember here, for anything there to be effective or to be this device here, when I talk about azonance, what is azonance? It is a repetition of a so just like here, he are yeah, bearing his white. So this, and when it comes for assonance, it is not necessary. It has to be the initial sound, right? It can be medial sound here. So bearing his white facts, okay? That is assonance. What is an aphora? And students say, why are we absent so much at home? You are, you can't it in the class. What are you doing at home? Sleeping? Yes, that's why. What is anaphora? Yes, very good. A, a repetition of the first word in a successive line. Okay, word in, like you have some say the word may end in fire. Some say the word may end in ice. Right, so some, some is that repetition. Okay. What is alliteration? So repetition of a consonant sound. What is a vowel sound? It is azonance. What is a consonant sound? It is alliteration. Okay? Right? The big black blue book. Okay, fine. Big black and blue book. It is? Alliteration. Okay, right. What is personification? What is personification? What is personification? Giving human quality. Yes, right. It could be to a non living, even to a living also. Like here, the tiger has been personified. Yes. Right, how it behaves, terrorizing as if it is, uh, you know, like, yes, a ruler, a leader, okay, right? So it is, there's a personification, it can be both ways, so for living as well as for non-living, okay, right? Any other literary device that you're not clear about? For the time being, we'll deal with this. Tomorrow, yes? Onomatopoeia is sound. Words that repeat or the sound that is made, okay? Like hiss, buzz, crash, smash, roar. These are sounds of moo, neigh. All these are sound words 
So when we repeat those sound words, right, we write them in our poetry, we write them in our prose. These are the sound words. It's onomatopoeia. Okay, right. So we have here the snarling, crashing, booming. All these are sound words. Clear? Yes. Now tomorrow, before I start off with the discussion of the sample papers, I will be doing a ball poem first, right? So let's discuss that ball poem, and then we'll come with the sample paper. So I'm giving it time here. I'll be sharing the PDF with you all. Make sure that each one of you has the paper and start practicing it. We are not rushing to it. We'll do it in a leisurely way. We'll do one section at a time because we, we can't do more than uh, say maybe 15 questions in a period. So, but that will only be effective. That will only be fruitful if you people make efforts, right? So of course here, if uh, we have multiple choice questions, if the syllabus has been reduced, your thinking. Now it is not mugging up and cramming up. Okay, what was the summary five minutes before entering the exam? Please just tell me the summary of the chapter. Oh my God, I know everything. And then you go write anything uh, over there. So that is over. So your happy days are over. The hard work days begin. Okay, right? So please make sure you change yourself also and start focusing on your studies. Each and every line, each and every word should be clear. Okay, right.